the soap and the conditioner bar cost somewhere around $25. So in this video, I'll have this, um, you know, this side I'll talk about my favorite way to wash yarn. And on this side, I'll have just some of the pictures of the process. And I'll talk about why I don't wash um, all my yarn like this. So when you have your business, you have to think about the costs of your um, of what it takes to make your product and to run your business. And you have to think about the profit that you're going to make from each of the items. So I cannot pass on right now the cost of the shampoo and conditioner bar. They're from Humbly Organics. I buy them online from a place called Zero Waste Cartel, which I really like because they are um, they come packaged in plastic-free packaging and they are completely natural shampoo bars, completely natural conditioner bars, and they smell amazing. There's multiple different scents and um, the pictures that I'm using to the side are the, uh, I believe the Mango Crush or some Orange Crush or something like that, one of the bars. And so this is my favorite way to wash yarn and it's really not a way that I use a lot, even though it's my favorite and it's just because of the cost. So I, uh, in the past, what I was trying to do and continue to try to do is to move away from as many products that contain, um, that are not sustainable and that are, that contain a lot of plastic, get away from the plastics and try to go to stuff that is better for our environment. Because let's face it, the fiber we work with from our sheep, from our alpacas, our goats, from our uh, dogs, from our rabbits, all of this, our cats, if you have long haired cats, all this fiber, including flax and cottons and all the natural fibers, this is natural stuff. And that's wonderful for our products. It's huge right now. This is the whole organic industry and the whole 100% natural, the whole sustainable, you know, the conversation right now around products that are green and products that are um, sustainable, that are ethical products. So this is where, um, this is, you know, this is where that, that fits into my life. And in, I've struggled to make it fit into my business because I cannot justify, um, these small, you know, shampoo and conditioner bars, washing all of my yarn and, and conditioning all of my yarn, which is a secret I've uh, never told before in any of the videos exactly how I do this. Those are the products I use for yarn, especially when I want to have, uh, it smells amazing. It absolutely smells amazing. Um, there's a less expensive version of this. It's a shampoo and conditioner bar from, I, I did it in one of the videos about uh, a very different way to wash yarn or something like that. And it was, I think, love, love our planet or something. It's, it's a little shampoo and conditioner bar. It was like a rose uh, scented bar. It's not a hundred percent. Um, let's see, it's not a hundred percent natural. There's, there is a little bit of chemicals in that bar, unfortunately, but it's much less expensive than paying $25 ish for the shampoo and conditioner bar from humbly organics, um, that I'm using. So let's talk a little bit about the process real fast. So the, uh, the advantages, so it's scent, right? The scent of the yarn is huge. It's massive, massive. People like yarn that's, that speaks, to, that smells good to them. When yarn, pe people, um, <laughs> the average person isn't gonna enjoy the raw smelling of a, per perhaps like a male angora shearing or a uh, raw sheep's fleece uh, that's been, yarn that's been spun uh, in the grease, for example, and, um, uh, people like us will be able to appreciate and understand uh, where the scent comes from in a yarn like that and we can correct it, we can deal with it, we can whatever. We understand the uses. However, our customers might not be the sort of people who have that depth and that breadth of knowledge in, about, um, you know, natural yarns anymore. People used to, but we don't anymore because we switched as a culture to um, chemically and mechanically uh, machine process, not just mechanical, but, but mass produced yarns made of acrylic. Okay. So, um, the process is I, you know, I order 
the one shampoo, one conditioner bar, the set, they, you can buy them individually or you can buy them together. Uh, ever so often I might have a 10 or 15% discount code. That's when I try to use it, when I have a discount code. That helps offset the cost for shipping because their shipping is a bit more expensive. Um, I think, I don't know if they have free shipping on like a certain um, level or whatever. When I, when I need it, I just I try to order it and use a coupon. Um, so what I do is, as you can see, I, I take um, really one to three-ish skeins at a time and I soak them, immerse them in uh, very warm water and um, I take the bar of soap and as you can see, I, I hold the yarn and the soap and I pull down with the yarn and the bar of soap on each side, right? So that puts the soap on each side of the yarn. And then uh, I use the same process where um, I kind of, you know, squeeze it all together and then I set it in the water, which helps kind of soak and disperse. And then we, we let it soak for a little bit, we rinse it off, we repeat the process of holding the conditioner bar and you just, you know, you keep it going um, on one side and then the other side of the yarn and you uh, you rinse it, you let it sit just for a little bit and you rinse all that off and you end up with a really, um, a, a yarn that is, it smells wonderful, it is, feels wonderful even when you have yarns that are a bit more rough. So that's what we've got and um, that's kind of, that's my secret, that's the best way I've found to naturally, to organically, to 100% chemical free, 100% plastic free, wash your yarns, and if you're going for products that um, you want to advertise, if you do use this process, you want to advertise that it is 100% plastic free, 100% chemical free, and the the shampoo, the conditioner, uh, you know, the, the wash process is 100%, you know, a organic, natural process, right? So um, I invite you, um, like I said, this is something that is just, you know, between the best bonus buddy members, I invite you to please try out that process if you want. Unfortunately, I do not have, um, I don't have like a, a coupon code or a discount code that I can offer you. It's just zero, the word Z-E-R-O, waste cartel, uh, dot com. That's where I get them from. Or you can type in Humbly or Organics. It's H-U-M-B-L-Y or Humbly Shampoo Bar, Humbly Conditioner Bar. And um, you can find them, find them that way. But thus far, this is the best way I found to really uh, wash and dry when you're when you're hoping for an ethical, sustainable, organic, natural way to clean and wash your yarns that isn't stripping them, and it it, it really leaves them with a lot of integrity. So. Just wanted to share that with you guys. That's one of my secrets that I don't often, in fact, that I've never talked about before. Those are my, uh, the way, what I like to use. I also use the shampoo and conditioner bar in my own hair, which is partially why I, um, I would go through a lot if I washed my own hair, uh, my kids' hair, and all my yarn. We would just be going through that, and then I would spend a salary on shampoo and conditioner bars. So. Hope that's something you guys find useful. Definitely feel free to contact me with any questions. And also um, let me know how it goes for you if you try it out or if you find other products, you know, that you, or if you find a, a place where it's less expensive for them, but definitely worth it. So thank you guys and we will see you in our next video.